winner, Andrew Felger. Tell me about it, brother. Uh, so it's pretty good. Want to start front row out since we kind of struggled in the qualifying there, but um, got out front, got on the top, and just kind of set us up from there. Made sure we hit our mark and uh, saw the checkered inside. They threw the yellow on us, but uh, managed to hold on there on the last lap with Rico throwing some sliders at us. But uh, cars really good. I mean, I definitely feel like the track. Hopefully, they work it a little bit and we can get two grooves going because. Starting 18th, I think, is the best we can, or back there with our qualifying time. So um, we got a ways to go, but hopefully the track gets better and gets a little race here. What are you thinking? I mean, what, what are you going to do set up out here? What are you guys going to throw at it for this feature? I got a few little changes I'd like to make. One of those biggest things, kind of wait, see what they do with the track and kind of hope if they work. I mean, the track right now is usually close. I'm not quite where we would see it for a feature, but I mean, it's it's definitely slick and not much left on the bottom. But um, there at the end, the bombs are coming at the end of the heat races, but hopefully they work it a little bit and uh, we can get going to the top end. The heat race win, brother. Heat race was good. Um, you know, we started out front, just kind of went out there and cruised. Uh, never really got pressured, so I just kind of out there cruising. We weren't that great. Um, hopefully, in the future, we'll dial it up a little bit. What are you thinking for the future? I seen, you know, you was up there watching the uh, micros and right. no tires on the back of the car, man. Uh, you know, I've run Belt Player for several years now, and uh, pretty much can expect it to be a big old berm up on the fence. And, you know, just going to dial it in like we typically do and see what happens. We'll be deep in the future, so got a lot of work ahead of us. Slideville City, USA, right? That's, that's right. It's the best, uh, best track for slide jobs in the U.S., I can guarantee that. Three winner, Tanner Thorson. Tell me about it, brother. Yeah, it was actually, I thought it was going to be pretty tricky. I mean, Peck's usually really tricky on these short tracks, and uh, I thought it was going to be really tricky, but I got a good start and was able to slide him from the start and take the lead in the first lap, and then I just kind of held my ground and tried to stay as smooth as possible, and came home with the win. Now you figure something out up there at the top, is, is that what you're looking at for the feature? Yeah, definitely. I mean, everybody's going to be up there, but I mean, if I have to, I'll obviously try to run the bottom a couple of laps, but I'll probably be starting back there at qualified 15 tonight and uh, uh, just try it. I think it's your turn, brother. Seconds, thirds, man, podiums, it's time, ain't it? Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I've been trying to work really hard at this all year and last year especially too, and this year I think I got a lot of seat, seat time under me and see if we can pull, pick up a win. There you have it, Tanner Thorson, your Heat 3 winner here at the Bell. Heat 4 winner, tell me about it, brother. Yeah, we got, we got a good start on the front row pole. I qualified not too well, so it's put us in the front. So, we, we, you know, we ran good. Just had a bad qualifying lap. Put us in the back of the feature. Now, I see you guys out here thrashing, man. What are you guys going to setting up 4-4 four, four this feature? Uh, we're just, just changing some tires and grinding the tires. We're on some new tires. I got to start the back for all the budget. So, I take off my, off my new tire and we run in the heat. Mr. Rico Brew, what's up, brother? Tell me about that feature, man. Uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, early on, I thought I had a pretty good car and got in some trouble there early on and uh, went to the rear and, you know, just worked my way back up. Uh, you know, Keith, Keith and Pete, uh, you know, they, they got some fast race cars right now and, uh, you know, I just, I just got impatient there. Uh, you know, I got, I got racing with those guys up front and, you know, the track was wet so everyone was moving around and, you know, I went to the bottom one lap and followed somebody and they slowed way down. Way slower than I expected, and got into the back of them, got turned around. So other than that, uh, worked my way back up. But good points, good points tonight. But uh, you know, I really don't want to look at his <laughs> points racing because I want to win. I want to win races. You, you you do a good job at winning races, man. Uh, yeah. Chris is chasing you down. He's got a World Outlaw win, man. Tell tell me about that. I, I know yeah. we shouldn't be talking about that right yeah, now, right. but no, I mean, tell me what you think about that. He's doing a good job this year. Uh, you know, he's he's winning races and sprint cars, and uh, I'm sure he'll get a silver crown one here before we know it. And, uh, you know, the kid's good, and uh, I uh, I really enjoy racing with him. He's a good racer. He races hard and never gives up. Uh, you know, I love beating him too. <laughs> Tell me about that cushion out there, man. You, you where you come from, the back, man. You, you had yeah, that fly out, and I mean, I was all over that cushion. Uh, you know, it was it was right on the wall, but it was thick on the wall, so it was, you can get on top of it, you can run it, you can run off of it. And, you know, I kept. Tying my shocks down and letting the fronts out as much as I could there at the end of the feature, just so I can run everywhere. Just you get racing with those guys and you can't follow them, you know, the whole race. You got to move around and uh, you know I, I seem to get better and better as that as I, you know, my career progresses. Uh, you, know, you, you just you got to go where they're not. Second least radio fans, here we are with your Belfield Bash runner-up, BC Bron Clawson. Tell me about it, brother. Ah, it's just an eventful night for uh, for a second. It, uh, it kind of seemed like we were involved in just about everything. They were just uh, 
it's kind of a curse to have me behind you. You guys were, were spinning out, hitting the wall, and all kinds of stuff happening there. But uh, we were able to survive with just some more wounds and uh, had a good car. Just uh, needed longer runs. Obviously, didn't have that tonight. A lot of yellow, a lot of, a lot of crashing. So um, it's kind of a, a bummer there. Needed, needed some longer runs. The longer the run, the more we were able to hang with Chris. And, and uh, but just on short runs, he'd, he'd get away there. He'd kind of get out to about half a straightaway, and then as the longer the run went, we could kind of start inching back up. But just never got to run long enough to do anything with him. But uh, overall, uh, a good rebound for us. Evaluator, man, tell me about it, bro. Uh, long race, really long race. Uh, got really uncomfortable in the car, just ready for it to be over. But uh, thankfully, we won, so that made it a little bit better. And uh, go on tomorrow, get to win, run a wing sprint car again. Uh, really looking forward to that. But you took the long way here tonight, man. Through the B, come through the B, transfer up, transfer up. Finally, you, you get into the A. You got your time back, you know. But that race, tell me about it, man. I mean, it, it, that slide job city. Yeah, definitely. I really enjoy this place. It's uh, it's kind of a cool place. It's really unique. Got wooden walls all the way around it, and the cushion really gets built up right on the fence. So uh, a lot of fun to drive, and uh, it, it obviously produces a heck of a race. It just sucks that there's so many cautions. There was a bunch of cautions. We've seen you stretch when you got out of the car in victory lane, man. There was just kind of like a little, uh, with the arms up, and then you get out and stretch, man. Yeah, I, I, was, I was not feeling very good. I was ready to get out of that race car. There you have it. Christopher Bell, winner, World Outlaws, winner USAC. He's winning everywhere. Right here at Belleville Bash on USAC Unleashed Radio.